Hi everyone, okay it's done. Like I said in the previous video, uh, the next one's gonna be, or this one's gonna be about the painting and it'll look completely different to what you saw in the previous previous video. And um, it looks very, very nice. So what I'll go over is how I did it, what I did, um, which colors I used, and then what I'm gonna do or the next plan for the next video. Okay, so um, my main color, which I chose, I, I chose a couple of colors. I mean, I, I was between German gray, NATO black, um, um, dark iron for the actual body itself. And the orange, I was uh, had a mixed feeling between these two. And um, this is your um, LP51 orange, which is like a dark orange. <clears throat> and the lighter one, which is a X6. So what I did was, I just, off the cuff, mixed them 50-50. And I came up with what I think is the closest to what the actual orange should be. If you're going for the for the white uh, X-wing, then you're gonna have to, you have to paint blue. And I do not know what blue that is. You're gonna have to choose your own color. But this is now specifically for this um, this black version. So um, <clears throat> like all the kits, I first layer layer it with a, a surface primer. Okay, and this surface primer acted as the show three color for some of the areas so it, it, it maintained it's 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 the undercoat actually was was part of the top coat if that makes sense by masking it off i'll explain in a second okay so uh, what i did was i painted all the areas that is uh, that's orange i used the template for the um for the wings which you will you will receive it okay it's in that it'll be in the the box and i basically taped off these stripes okay with um with my tamaya tape um that's the only one other than, than, the, than the orange that's that's like a gray color and and this is your undercoat so i taped this off <clears throat> and then freehand i just painted where the orange lines should be and the whole area that's, that's supposed to be orange i went right over the edges okay and over here as well same with the with, with the the lower wing okay and then when that was done i painted um i made the the the, the temp uh, I, I masked off the the areas where where it should be orange so in other words i covered the cover the orange up so these stayed as they were i did not remove them okay and then i painted the black and i went straight with the um the nato black xf69 Okay, this is an off black. Uh, going straight for normal black color, it's, it's too dark. Um, this to me, it's aircraft NATO. I mean, I presume it's aircraft color, um, and it looks very nice. I mean, this is the um, the nose section. So on this section, what I did <coughs> was um, painted like I did, like I described earlier, and then I masked off these gray areas. And then I painted the, I painted the orange and I masked off the, the orange and then I painted the black and then when that was done I removed everything and the nice thing with this paint is with this undercoat um, before I actually painted the the black I painted I sprayed it with with hairspray so if you want to do the withering it's you put a bit of water on it it'll rub off quite easily but it seems to me this um, actual NATO black seems to naturally wither at the edges and it's actually very nice because that's that is the effect you want so you can rub it starts coming off see over there it is really coming off and that's the way it looks i mean on screen the the, the, the full size one is too clean it looks like it's coming out of the factory and no it's a fighter craft okay so i'll be doing some more withering on this in the meantime but um so that's the, the nose section okay and then the um Top fuselage with the uh, with the cockpit. So what I did over here is I painted the interior with German grey. I think I might have lightened it up slightly, but you can choose your color. Okay, as a base base coat. I went over the edges and then I painted this German grey. When that was dry, I just taped off on the inside. Okay, and then obviously, obviously after my orange was painted, and then I masked off the orange and then I painted the black. So the because the black goes onto the um, area where the cockpit sits or the, the canopy sits okay <clears throat> the 
cherry as well. This is um, German grey, and that's undercoat. Okay, I'm gonna go silver on the edges, on this bottom edge, just to give it a bit of a, of a difference. Maybe over here as well, where the um, joystick sits. Okay, and then for the lower section, um, you see in the, the templates there is a small little cut out. What little thing you need to cut out looks like looks like that okay so there's one for left and one for right and that color underneath is your um your undercoat your surface primer <laughs> okay so what i did was i stuck it onto the the edge of the um well stuck some tape onto the onto the side of the tape holder and i cut this out and I held it over and I just took the cokey pen I just made a mark so it can be like a silhouette and then I cut it out stuck it on then I painted the black and while I put it off and there you go okay, there is supposed to be another white line over here um, you can freehand that I'm not going to do it okay then everything else basically went black except your um your upper rear section orange okay then I did black around the um the rims okay and um, the this one's also just black okay the um canopy what i did was i first painted titanium silver and it was too yellow so then i went with a straight light coat of aluminium flat al aluminium or aluminum as the american guys say xf16 so that gave kind of like the look and that's with the front and the rear okay the um engines Okay, what I did was I painted um, these pipes silver and I painted these square parts rectangle parts silver okay including obviously this piece over here then I painted this this over the silver I painted hairspray and then over this I put um, masking tape and then I, I indented the edges with 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 a ruler and then I cut with a with a scalpel blade so that those are masked off and then i painted black and then pulled off and it's already you can see it's already rubbing off naturally see that looks like it's with it it's actually looking quite nice okay so as you handle the model it'll, it'll wither on its own it looks like i mean look at that it's really looking way way better At least you want something to look like it's off the factory floor. Wither it up. Okay, look how that looks. Okay, then the um <coughs> the rear main rear part I painted with uh, the aluminium and then I whacked it around the edge with um I think it was titanium silver to darken up the edge. Okay, and then I used this iron. Uh, XF84 just around the edge so that it blends in quite easily and these just turn them slightly till they hook and they actually sit you don't have to glue them in okay this over here I painted uh, with um, I think titanium silver and then I gave it a light coat of the dark um, dark iron okay and it goes in there looks very nice and then you've got space for your um, light to shine through Okay, my next thing I'm going to do on these is just drill a hole straight through it. Okay, and on the on the engine bit as well. Okay, uh, the um, <coughs> other little parts. Okay, point on the wings is when you do paint them the black. On this part, this part goes onto the front of the wing. Is paint this inner section black. <coughs> Because the, when it goes into the into the actual wing itself into the engine this is visible and then on this side paint that black because it's, it's visible and on this one uh, you want to there was a specific area wasn't there mm, i think it was over here no not really no this one was fine okay make sure you go you go over the edges with these colors Okay, over, over the lip. 
Okay, and the little bits. <coughs> this was um, which one was it? Uh, be with me. That was. It's not Jim and Gray. Could have been titanium silver. It is kind of shinish. Um, it's not accurate to screen. Because on the screen this is actually a lot lighter if you look at the photographs. So I might still change this color. That and these bits. Okay. This one here is dark on the screen. So I'll see maybe I'll do some more weathering on this part. And this is your little section that goes over here. And that is just plain black. And that's the other part. Paint this little piece black. Because it's visible. Once this is on. It'll go in. Okay. Do I shave it the right way around? No. Okay. Okay, now for the engine. I'm sure you all have been looking at the engine thinking, wow, that looks nice. <laughs> okay. Um, so these, like I said, I cut them out. I painted these two, I painted them with a the dark, the dark iron. So I don't want them to look the same as the, as the rest. Um, I want them to look different. So I'll, they'll get some withering still. Um, what I'll be using is I'll be using the withering sets. Um, probably silver gunmetal, some rust. Um, suit maybe. Um, snow, no. Okay, so that's it's my withering set. You can use normal pastels. Okay, so I have not glued anything together. So your um, cover okay and make sure you paint the inside because it's, it's visible and then the engine bit and I actually noticed on the um, on a screen grab that there's orange in this engine port orange stripe whether it's the first or second cylinder I'm not sure I did it on the, on the second one and I put a little black in I put wash on the inside I use wash okay um, so the next thing I'm going to do here is just drill a hole through for the lighting and then I'm going to glue this in. Okay, it's important to make sure that this is level and that when you put this on it's actually level so also the, 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 the wings won't close properly. Okay, as well this over here painted the same color as the, um, as the engine itself. Okay, NATO black. And next I'll be gluing that in. I'll be gluing these two in. Okay, and this piece once I've drilled the hole. Okay, as for the interior, uh, what I did over here was I painted titanium silver and slightly around the edge, and then afterwards I went in with the um, with a normal black, the NATO black, and I just darkened up and right into the little recesses, so give you, you get variation in color. At the top, okay, same over here, titanium silver. Okay, it does not, does not need to be, it is a different color on the screen, so I might change it. Um, over here, I painted silver and then, sorry, I painted the orange first and then I've masked it off. Then I painted silver, masked it off, painted black, and then pulled everything off, and that's that's the way it looks. So it's silver, orange, black, silver, black. Okay. So your engines basically push straight into the um, into the hole over there. It's fitting very well. So if you got your um, engine part, it is over here as well. Paint them black on top. Okay, so they goes in there like that. Okay, they'll get withering still before I glue it back in. And then your um, engine itself. I'll take it off. Just push this in. Okay, and it goes in very, very, very well. I haven't pushed it in all the way, but that holds the um, the engine. It's so tight. You don't. You not. Do not need to glue these in if you do not want it. Just make sure they're lined up. So that that pipe goes into the open area. You know you lined up, and this can go further down. 
If your sand is needed, you can sand back on the silver part slightly to get that deeper in. But that is basically your um, engine in there. Okay. So the next video I'm going to do is the guns. I'm going to show you what I did there and what I still need to do on them. They're almost done. And there's on that there's I think three parts to glue on and then it's, it's together. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's it for now. So till the next one when I show you the weapons. Cheers.